Instagram, Facebook, what's up? You know me, Mark Morris, 1986 Verbum Day, 2001, um, University of San Francisco. Somebody just asked me, why you say you what you say you have no money, but why you wash your car? Bro, I don't have time to wash my car. I just got home from my second job, third job. I'm making money, man. Plus, they can wash the car better than me. Get out there and mess with these fucking hubcaps and do all that kind of stuff. That's why you get a housekeeper. The housekeeper cleans the house better than me. She can't, She does it once or twice a month. Better than what I did in 30 days. I don't want to clean my shit. I used to be a housekeeper. I don't want to come home and clean my shit. That's why you have money. Like, look at this. This will all be like a new warehouse, man. New wa warehouse to be here. I worked in a warehouse 25 years ago. Petavina Mode and Die. Off of, uh, what was it? Prairie Avenue and El Segundo. That's where I worked. That's where all the kids work, man. My generation, we're going to become IT workers. This generation. I'm going to work next to Amazon Robot. That's why you need money, man. Scared money don't make money. You got to learn how to sell. You learn how to sell. You're not moving fucking boxes around. You're not like these big Amazon trucks in front of me as I'm trying to get somewhere. Come on, man. All these high school. All these, they don't, what even makes it worse? That you, they got fancy cars, Teslas, Mercedes, and they go into a warehouse, man. That ain't cool, man. I'm telling you. That ain't cool. At least when I went there, I did make parts, soldering. They taught me how to pack stuff. Taught me how to go out and sell. This one, I don't know what the fuck. What did you, someone, someone tech comment. What did, what did they make you do in the warehouses besides wear a vest and goggles? What? What is that? My, my Steve and his dad said, boy, you better get out there and make us some money. Vest, no vest, goggle, no goggle. Get your ass out there and make us some money. Are you going to be home, brother man? What you want, bro? You want to be sick doing the crack? You want to get paid? I, I want to get paid, sir. I want to get paid. So, today, not much to tell you. I just want to just record. I'll, in a 10 or 20 years, when I'm a billionaire, we'll look back on this. I'm changing my pants to get ready to go to the gym. We'll look back on this video. Man, that guy had it going on. He went through it all. Like Grand Cardone said, got to get fired, go through a whole bunch of shit. So life is long, man. Plus now it's so hard to make money, to make to multiply your money. That's the problem. That's why I grad invested a couple of thousand dollars in Grant Cardone's multi-million dollar apartments. I'm going to uh invested money with Charles Schwab. Now I have another project. I'm selling my $29.99 cash flow as my discount t-shirt. Also, I'm selling um the new, the new course I'm going to have is how can you work with the YouTube to make to improve your communication skills. So just kind of keep coming up with programs, coming up with programs. Right now, I'm raising $480,000 this month. That's my project. So call, I may be calling you. And it's like, I don't want to help you. Why do you always ask about money, Martin? No, I need people with money. I don't need nothing, man. I need people with money I can help out, man. I also, you know, I'm, I'm watch me get to the top in a couple of years. Ago. I remember that guy on YouTube, man. He's a scam. He's a scam. You know, bro, living at 385 East 116th Place across from those projects, that's a scam. Section 8 across the street, now that's a scam. You got your wife and you. They got people pull up in Mercedes and Audis living in the hood. Girlfriend, hey, you, honey, I love you. Some guy down the street fucking his wife. We got a cool car, don't we, honey? She's like, ah, oh, yes, idiot. Go fuck the neighbor again. Don't do that to your wife or girlfriend. Get her into a quality place, man. Don't be trying to show off in a fancy car and then you're in the middle. You're across from the homeless. Don't do that to your wife, man. Because you know she's going to fuck everyone else. Girlfriend, you know she's going to fuck other people. Wouldn't you? I like my cool car, honey. Don't do that to your family. That's what I got to tell you. If you got money, don't buy a car. Spend it on your honey. Later.